just watched a couple of videos on YouTube of people eating sticks of butter for a contest and I decided to make this for uh, health purposes. So I remember as a kid I was told not to put too much butter or try to go to margarine and even not put too much margarine on bread every time I had it. And now after reading up on ketogenic diet, something I practice a lot for breakfast and lunch, I'm actually wondering whether to have bread or butter as a meal. When it comes to breakfast, do I want to have like a couple of tablespoons of butter or do I want to have a piece of bread if I had to choose one? And for myself, I would choose to have butter for breakfast. There are a lot of benefits of eating good quality organic butter from grass-fed cows, such as getting the fat-soluble vitamins and getting high amounts of uh, saturated fat and CLA. Eating butter is supposed to be filling. It's supposed to uh, not promote insulin spikes at all because it's not a carb. I listened to a few podcasts in my last job while I was working and some of them said they would eat a stick of butter or even just half a stick of butter to uh, prepare for a marathon because that that will give them plenty of calories and it will keep them full a lot longer. Eating bread for me uh, is not very filling at all. Even if it has uh, plenty of calories or it looks filling, it doesn't last. I could eat a piece of bread or two slices of bread, maybe even four, and I'll be hungry in like two hours. Bread is mostly just carbs, so it will promote uh, insulin spike. And to me, it's not that much uh, better than eating cookies if you're trying to keep your insulin under control. I know bread is uh, listed as having plenty of vitamins, or whole wheat bread is promoted as having a fiber to uh, promote good digestion. But there are people out there that don't uh, digest bread that well, even if they don't know it. Bread contains uh, gluten, which for me, uh, if I eat so much of it, I don't digest it that well, and it makes me feel tired. If I have to choose between eating a whole loaf of bread or a whole stick of butter as like an actual contest or as an actual large meal to prepare for any competitions, I would choose the whole stick of butter. For something like this, I would not recommend the, uh, the conventional butter you find in the grocery stores. It's got to be good quality organic grass-fed butter. Even though the grocery store butter is a million times better than margarine, I would still choose the organic butter. I eat at least two teaspoons, or I eat at least two teaspoons, maybe tablespoons of butter a day for the last two, three years. And my blood pressure is still a lot better than when I was eating bread, oatmeal, or even cereal for breakfast. To burn body fat, you got to eat plenty of fat. I remember as a kid, trying to go on plenty of diets, eating low fat foods like we're all told to, no success. Got really hungry and went back to eating junk food. I'm going to suggest for breakfast, increase your fat, decrease your carbs. So butter up those vegetables, butter up the broccoli, butter up the meats because you're going to get high amounts of calories you're not going to get as fat because you're not getting huge insulin spikes from eating carbs. And fat will help you burn fat. Fat will keep you full longer.